So this video is actually two weeks worth of material. We start off with an exercise for the men of extending their left leg, little toe on the ground, and then sending it around and back and rotating about 90 degrees. So just as an exercise, and rotate, and then rotate. And then we also did that with the right leg. So it goes out, around, back, and back out. So we use this in a couple of different ways. We started off with just going into cross system, going to the cross, tucking. So I cross my leg, my left behind my right, and Shelly's crossed, of course, here. Now, I'm going to want Shelly to go around me to the open side, so to the leader's left, follower's right. So I'm going to start turning my upper body. She's going to step around me. Notice she didn't step away from me or out there. She actually pivoted and stepped around. Now what I'm going to do is as I lead her to do that, I'm stepping forward with my right, creating a cicada. Now I'm going to take weight on my right and sending my hip and my upper body around. Then bring my left in and I'm going to use that little embellishment to come around to a fly. Now, She's going to do any embellishments that she likes to do here at the parada, and then she's going to step over. As she does, I go to my left. Now, as she steps forward here, I go back to my right, and we're out. So all together. So a couple of things that we want to try to avoid for the leaders here. One is anticipating this turn and going there. Again, we want this cicada to happen. I'm going to straight. So I'm first going straight. I'm a little at an angle here, but not there. So my upper body turns, but my leg goes straight. Then again, I take weight there. We had a discussion about how much contact we make during a cicada. Some say that cicadas are, um, there's no contact, that they're just delusions. I would say if you're a beginner, then yeah, you might go here. You might leave a, just a little bit of space there, just to be on the safe side. But if you're a more advanced dancer and you've got a high level of confidence of where your foot is, where her foot is, then there should be a little bit of contact. Just a very slight, I say sort of grazing of the foot here. So my foot's definitely feeling Shelly's foot there. My foot feels her foot there. Musicality, this is slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Also, we talk about this in a lot of our classes, but notice where I'm looking, where Shelly's looking. We're always keeping each other as our center. So here, I'm still facing Shelly, and especially here, a lot of times guys will do this. They'll send the women there and then there. Now, really using those arms. No, if my arms are moving, my chest is moving. 
to notice how I keep Shelly centered. So here, when she steps over, my body turns with her. My body turns with her. Big difference in the way tango feels when you're both doing this. Okay, so the second, so that was really the first week. The second week, we did a very similar step. It's exactly the same, only now, instead of a turn going to the open side, we're going to do a turn to the close side. So the first thing we did, Spin did this embellishment again, only this time instead of going to a saccata here, I'm going to send it around, and as I do that, invite her to pivot. Then as my foot comes back forward, leading her to a forward cross here, I step in, pull the saccata, pivot, another saccata, then we see her back ocho, and we're out. So all together. Very traditional, elegant step there. Couple of pointers. I want to send energy around her here, around her supporting leg. So her supporting leg right now is her left leg. So I want to send energy around that leg. If it was the last step, I'm going to move her off that leg. So there, if I go here, she's going to step. But if I just send energy around, she pivots. Now again, this is an important thing to look at. Actually, let's get a slightly different angle on this so you can see. Okay, I'm going to get out of the way here so that you can see Shelly's foot here. Notice as soon as her body weight moves up over her new supporting leg, her trailing leg points. This means that I can step in for a saccata and not step on her foot. If she kept that toe down on the ground like this as she stepped, then, oops. Now, hopefully as a good leader, I'm not going to do that, but she can solve this problem on her own. By pointing. Not only that, but it looks pretty. Looks nice. The worst that's going to happen here is I'm going to run into her foot. I'm not going to step on anything. So the same thing as last time. I'm going to step in. I'm going to take weight and pivot. Now I'm going to keep the momentum going. So she's going to take a side in there again, saccata. I'm going to move my hip, my upper body, take weight over my left. Now I can receive her back ocho and up. So once we got that, we wanted to keep that turn continuing. So here, instead of receiving her back ocho, I'm going to step next to her foot and keep the momentum going around. So we get basically two full turns. One turn. Two. You know the most important things with this turn? where I'm stepping next to her foot here. Oftentimes when we do a turn to the close side, we step on this side of her foot. You could do that too, it's just different. So we go here or here. If I go on this side, she may think it's a parada if I stop the momentum. If I stop the momentum or move this way at all, she may feel like that's a stop. So what I want to do is extend the leg and keep the turn going as I'm taking weight. So keep the turn going. Keep it going. Keep it. Nope, I stopped. So she stopped. And it can turn into a bra. 
good to practice those two things so that we feel when we keep momentum going versus when we stop the momentum. So all together, We also, at the very end, for the more advanced answers, we looked at a man's embellishment. And this was actually for those of you here in Atlanta. Um, we had some visiting teachers recently, Renee and Junko, and they did this little embellishment, which is very nice. Just we send the leg out, come here, and tuck, there, and then we can continue on with this turn. So in wheel time, 